I'm going to do one more video here on Merlin, who's now back down in group living. He's been in a couple of different areas of the center already, and uh, he got quite a bit of attention this weekend. Um, he had a potential adopter visit him and spend quite a bit of time. We learned that he's quite a catnip freak. Um, the one thing I want to add to uh, an update about him is that I really do think he is going to be a um, food sensitive cat that he is going to need to be on a special diet uh, that it, that's dry and or wet depending on what you want to feed or both right now I'm feeding both um, I'm using the natural balance green pea and duck that's a novel protein he came in with a lot of scabs on the back of his um, on the back of his uh, rump here and everything we thought perhaps from fleas um, he also had some loose stools, but as soon as we kind of adjusted his diet, and again, we're only at a week into his stay here, so, you know, it's, I can't guarantee any of this, but I'm not seeing the scabs. The stools have completely cleared up, very normal, and I'm um, just thinking that this is a cat who has some sensitivities to something that's in, um, in some of the different cat foods, so therefore you're going to feed... I'm going to send him home with suggestions and requirements that you stick with this food uh, at least as long as he's settled in. You can see some uh, hair loss there along the back rump and uh, butt area. So starting to explore a great sign does not have to be the only cat would not do well with a bully strong cat personality. He needs a soft gentle um, gentle cat to go with him that would be a nice gentle female um, preferably very cute he says um, but he's very very loving with his people I think he's going to be um, quite a snuggler um, I think at first he's going to require some um, agility to get down and interact with him um, and, and encourage him but I think he'll adjust pretty quickly so that's his deal, um, and I'm, he's got a couple of people interested already. I'll be talking with you guys uh, in the next day or so, and we'll get this guy uh, lined up, hopefully, to, to go home. Um, a very busy household, not suited. Small kids, I don't think, suited. Um, keep in mind the possible necessity, lifelong, for specific diet. Uh, it is right now what I have him on over the counter diet, not prescription. Um, there you got it. You got some nice meowing. So he's a little worried. This is his first day exploring down here. So I'm not, um, I actually like it when I see them exploring quickly. Um, although I shouldn't say quickly. He spent, uh, he spent a couple of days hiding. So um, he, it did take him a little while to warm up, but this is the center is, is tough on these cats. It's not a home environment. Um, it's you know comfortable, clean, and quiet most of the time. But um, it is it is different and, and tense for many of them that are used to living in a home. And he's a good example of that. And I'm going to bet right now he's going to head and find the behind the washing machine hiding place, and that's probably where we'll find him this evening.